back again with Ben 10 Alien Force, this time episode 12 of season 1, the penultimate episode of the season. Since recording the last episode like 20 minutes ago, I have now started monetizing my videos, so hopefully as I speak to you, I am gaining money in my first steps to becoming full-fledged YouTuber. Last episode was the Forever Nights episode where they were trying to kill a dragon with alien tech and alien laser and dragon escaped they asked ben to help and then eventually ben figures out that it's it's not a dragon it's an alien and the alien just wants to go home after being trapped for a thousand years and now because they let the dragon go home the throne knights now consider them en enemies again i mean they were enemies before i don't know where we st i don't know where they stopped being enemies they were reluctant allies for the episode but now they're enemies again, except for one, the Squire. Maybe we'll see him again. But I doubt this episode is going to be connected to that. This episode has got to be connected to the finale. Maybe. We'll see. But let's just get into Season 1, Episode 12, the penultimate episode of the season of Ben 10 Alien Force, starting now! Okay. Clearly not just a regular guy, then. It's a DNA alien! Hello! Connected to the story! Who's this DNA alien running from? Oh. That's... Okay, I recognise... That looks like Gwen's mana powers. Listen to it scream! Yep, yeah, it's not... It's not Gwen doing that. Another one bites the dust. It's a forearms and an accelerate! But it's not four arms and accelerate. Fry every DNA alien we can find. I think I recognise that voice as well. It sounds like the guy who voiced Cyborg in the Teen Titans. You just got there. Let's dust him. No. We can't. The Eradicana needs more time to recharge. How about instead we follow them? Maybe they'll lead us to a whole nest of DNA. They're not DNA aliens. Great. <laughs> They're getting away. No, they aren't. Out there is why we're all contaminated freaks. It's why we're kicking alien butt. So nobody has to go through what happened to us. Would you two stop it? Every day it's the same fight. I can't babysit you forever, you know. Those are aliens. They look human. They must be wearing ID masks. I would have caught them if you hadn't stopped me. Pierce would have done it. Ha! <sighs> Don't like you, Manny. Then we'll handle things my way. <sighs> yeah, good luck. They're gonna kick your ass, Manny. Don't like Manny. We've yet to see Gwen, Ben, and Kevin in real time. Bro! There we go. If that tanker goes up, we're talking about a major bonfire. Yeah. <laughs> You're running the wrong way, bro. What? How did he do that? He made someone else Your turn. into stone. Big chill. Big chill would be a good idea for this. Definitely don't like him. He took Kevin. Concentrating. On what? I'm at one with the cosmic mana, feeling the energy of the universe flowing around and through me. Through me. And you're doing this why? So that I can locate Kevin. Which I have. 
Is that all? Okay. Manny, stop! It's not a mask! Ah, that's my face, you jerk! It doesn't matter. He's an alien, and I say we feed him to the Errata Cannon. That's not a disintegrator, you doofus. It's a null void projector. A null void? What do you mean? They don't even know one. Why did you do that? He was getting on my nerves. What if you're wrong, Manny? What if he's not an alien? You saw his powers. He's got to be an alien. Ectonorite. Ghost freak? Piscus Valens. Rip Jaws? Pyronite. He blast. Vulpamancer. Wild Mo. There's got to be one like him in here. If he has a badge, it's a fake. Him and his pals, they're all dirty alien freaks. Then why would they save that driver? Why did they stop the truck from exploding? I don't know. And I don't care. Not that I care or anything. I mean, come on. How could anyone care about a person who is that rude and undependable and, and annoying? It's ridiculous. How could you even say something like that? Mm -hmm. Actually, I didn't say anything. <laughs> She's whipped. She's totally whipped. They're not even together and she's whipped. Hey, I'm not the one who... Wow! <laughs> Screw you. Very nice. <laughs> Copper? Is it conductor? I think? I don't know. I don't know science. Break his hand! I hate these guys! Dude! Oof! This is what they did to the DNA alien at the beginning. Oh! Come on! Here he comes. Swamp fire. OG B. Well, not OG, but beast. <laughs> Roast him alive! Yeah. I like seeing him in pain. must have been human. The other, not so much. Your human version is probably even uglier. You want to go another round? Anytime, pal. So they must... Tell your boyfriend to back off. No, you tell yours to... <laughs> he is not my boyfriend. Hey! Stop it, all of you! What am I, your babysitter? You sound just like my brother. <sighs> You've been sending plumbers into the, into the null void. Grade. Uh, some of these might be other plumbers' kids, like us. Round up everybody we captured and free all the ones who shouldn't be there. Not a chance. Well, Manny, I'm doing it, whether you come with me or not. What? Why? Because it's what Pierce would do. <sighs> Gonna finally do something right, maybe? Sorry about, you know. Apology accepted. Be careful. I don't accept it. You're gonna go with- there's supposed to be no way out of the null void. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go swipe some of their equipment. I, I can take that. Kevin! So not cool, man! <laughs> he's- he's not stopping. Go ahead. <laughs> right then. Man, Kerry Payton! Kerry Payton and- for a second I almost said Phil Lamar, it's Kerry Payton. And Julia Landav was Helen. Okay. So, I guess they must be humans that are just mutated. Just like Alan was. They've got they've got alien appearance. So Except they can't transform back the way Alan can. I was so... I was getting so angry with both of them this episode. They were pissing me off. You know what? Manic... For, for an alien who's got four eyes, he's so short-sighted. 
so short-sighted for an alien with four eyes. Oh, God. Just looking at everyone and saying... Like, I genuinely believed he was an alien. Well, he is sort of alien. He's part alien, but he's supposed to be part... He's also part human. But I was really thinking he was a, just a full alien who was just here to capture capture aliens and I was thinking like well you're on a fucking alien planet and then in that case if that's your motive you shouldn't you be capturing everyone then well just go to earth and capture the whole population put them in the null void even though you thought it was a disintegrator but yeah who knows maybe while you're in there you can find grandpa max bring him back then maybe maybe I'll forgive you god this is pissing me off oh my notes don't even really mean anything because I wrote down I only wrote down three notes forearms and accelerate which were revealed to be Manny and Helen uh, they took Kevin that didn't last very long and the null void where they've now gone even though they were watching all the heroic well the heroic things by saving that truck from well they didn't stop the truck from blowing up but saving the driver and then stopping the explosion with big chill even though they were watching all that happen they were watching them save people they would Manny was just like it doesn't matter. He's an alien. We've got to take him. We're going to kill him. <sighs> God. Pissed me off. I almost want... I can't, be... I can't believe they actually cut away from the point when... Uh, when Helen surrendered to them. She was saying, I'm all ears. I wanted to see the conversation. I wanted to see the look of realisation. I wanted to see the moment when they knew they fucked up. So, yeah. Basically, what, what they do and what Pierce was doing as well... They were just going around dis abducting aliens. They were they thought they were disintegrating them, but they were also but they were actually putting them in a little void. And most of them could have been plumbers' kids that they've just been taking. Just like they were trying to do with Kevin, Gwen and Ben. Well, we know for certain one of them was a plumber's kid, because Pierce said in his diary that one of them flashed a plumber's badge. And even when even when Ke even when Helen brought up that Kevin had a plumber's badge, Manny was like, "It's fake! It's fake!" Just looking for any excuse. Yeah, we saw all the aliens that they've been abducting as well. All most of them OG aliens. There was one DN alien in there, but yeah, there was a ghost freak, a heat blast, a stink fly, an upgrade, a wild mutt. There was basically a lot of the OG aliens in there. I hope the upgrade the captured... Well, I was about to say I hope the upgrade the captured wasn't the one from the episode where we introduced Ship. But he he left. We haven't seen Ship at all since that episode. He's so fucking cute. Why have we not seen Ship? And now they've gone into the Null Void after realising how much they've fucked up. With the intention of bringing everyone back who's not supposed to be there. How are you going to get back? Like, the only reason Ben was able to get back in season two of the original show was because they kept the portal open. Max and Gwen kept the portal open, and then and Gwen guided him back. The portal's closed now, after Manny and Helen left, so after, after they went in. The portal's closed. How are they going to get back? I only want them to come back if they have Max with them. Maybe then I'll forgive them for being dicks. Especially Manny. You may have a cool ass voice, and I wish you would have said booyah at least at some point. But it was cool to see that, like, at the end, the mirror image, like, Gwen against Helen and Kevin against Manny, and then you've got, and then you have Ben in the middle breaking up their arguments, and that's what Pierce would used to do for them to, except. It's a one-time thing, because Pierce might have been breaking up Helen and Manny's arguments all the time. In here, it looks like... It seemed like the mirror opposite was Ben. Well, the mirror opposite of Pierce was Ben. Because he's the one... It looks like he was the one resolving issues. And that's why Helen and Manny are such a dysfunctional team, because they don't have Pierce to ground them anymore and stop their fighting. And they make it seem... Them, the writers made it seem like Ben is the one who's always grounding them, except it's usually Ben and Kevin who are arguing, and Gwen is the one who has to stop them fighting. But I don't care. I don't care. It was fine. It was fine. Getting the, the opposites of Helen and Gwen, and then Kevin and Manny. And then Ben was the one to stop it. 
because that's what Pierce would have done if he was here. Sort of moving on. We're still we're sort of still spinning the wheels with the Gwen and Kevin romance. Even she's finding herself tripping up now. Maybe maybe we'll get it this season finale, the next episode. Maybe we'll get it next episode. Because at this point, you're just spinning your wheels with it. You've got to be careful how long you spin your wheels with a romance, because there will come a point when people will just get tired of it, and then when it happens, you'll be like, oh, finally. If you do it at the right time, it becomes the best moment of the show. But if you spin your wheels too long, it gets tiresome. We're not at the point where it's tiresome yet, but it's got to happen at some point soon. I mean, this show is only three seasons, so... It's got enough life in it yet to last that last the entire show before it happens in the in the final in the final season. As long as it happens before this show ends, I don't care. Gwen and Kevin are just they're too good they're too good of characters to to let this go too long, really. Like they're both so entertaining that it'll regardless of when it happens, as long as it's in this show, it's gonna be good either way when it happens. Yeah, this was the penultimate episode. For a second, at the end, I thought that when they were talking about going into the Null Void, I thought, is this going to be a two-parter? Is this where we're uh, Ben and Gwen and Kevin going to go into the Null Void with them? And we're going to find Max. Was that going to be the season finale? Tra in the Null Void. Basically facing all the aliens. And then bring... It would have been such a good way to finish off this season. Bring Go into the Null Void bring Max back, and then recruit so many of the plumber's kids in the from the Null Void, and then bring them back. They're, that way, you get Max back, you have your team, you can face a bunch of DNA aliens. It's all good. That would have been an amazing way to finish this season. But I doubt that's what's going to happen. Let's get into the ranking of this episode. It was a good one. And it got me invested because I was so pissed off. Better than episode 9, one with Cash and JT. Yeah, it was. Better than the episode with Mike Morningstar. Yes. Because it got me so invested. Better than the episode with Vedona. Yes. Better than the last episode. What was the last episode again? Mm, I can't remember. Uh, the, the Forever Nights one. Yeah, it was better than that. Better than episode 2. Yeah. Better than the premiere. I think so. Better than episode 3. The episode 3 was the one with Alan. Hmm. Close. It had a DNA alien in it, but it didn't really advance the story. Like the one with Alan did. Let's see, was it better than episode 7? Episode 7 was the one after Max disappeared. What was the one with, What was episode 7 again? Pe oh, the pier. The one on the pier. Was it better than the episode on, on the pier? I don't think it was better than the episode on the pier. But was it better than the episode with Alan? Hmm. You know what? Simply because I don't believe... Just because this wasn't a two-part going into the final episode, I'm going to put it b uh, below the episode with Alan. Because you could have set up the finale of this season so perfectly if they'd all gone into the Null Void together. And then you'd done my pitch, what I just said. If that's what this was leading to, then it definitely would have gone on up higher. But no, that's not that's not what's happening. So the list will show itself. Episode six is still at the top. Episode ten, episode four, episode seven, episode three, episode twelve, which was this one. Episode one, episode two, episode eleven, episode eight, episode five, and episode nine. That's the list we've got so far. Twelve out of thirteen done. We're going to be doing the next episode soon, so this list will be completed in the next episode, which I'm going to be recording tonight. It's only quarter past nine at night, so I'll give my phone, well, the camera phone that I'm recording on, a bit of time to recharge. So yeah, we'll just see where we'll just see where it goes in in the finale of this season. But I'm going to be recording that soon. But for now, that's all we've got for this episode of Ben 10 Alien Force. Until next time, we are over and out.